Surprise commentary! Yes, uh, this is going to be episode 3 of uh, Soccer M Goes Pro. I'm going to be doing these very occasionally, fairly spontaneous, live commentaries. Um, and I just thought, you know, uh, the FC Totten game, or whatever the hell they're called, um, would be a good place to start. You know, as I mentioned in the last episode, you know, they got a bit of exposure to national television on uh, ITV in the FA Cup second round against Bristol Rovers. And I thought, you know, hey, give them more exposure, because it's, it's weird to think, I mean... If you saw in the last episode, their capacity for their ground was 3,000. My supposed audience of 2,200 is nearly hitting that. So technically, it would be like I'm giving them exposure in a way. Um, which is really weird to think, but hey, whatever, you know. Um, unfortunately, if you did uh, observe their team on ITV, you will notice none of the players um, are featured in their team as it is a fictional team. Not None of them are actually put into that. I think there was one. I, I would rem I would recognise it as well because um, there was a player who played for them. I think it was the captain who had a very distinct name. He had, like, I can't remember what it was. It was a very odd-looking name, you know, and I don't see any odd-looking names, excuse me, um, in that team apart from Monacana, which isn't exactly... Difficult to pronounce itself, but whatever. Uh, it was something beginning with P anyway. It's not Pearson, but I, I don't know. Anyway, um, looking at our team for Vol 2, um, Tube starts in the middle, so too does Wilson and Rushton. Uh, Baby Elvis, as I've talked about before, is pretty good. Should hopefully see him for the first time in action today, um, at least live. Not being at centre back, and I also, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty for the, the main. Uh, people Rocket is on the bench, and a few other people are as well. As you can see, not even more on the bench. I mean, I think his name was, I think it was like Pelletier or something, and he had like a. That's because he's not on the game, so um, that's the guy. Ah, okay, so um, I'm going to put, I'm going to put, um, close this guy down weaker foot. I was going to say onto the. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to pick a few names out and just say weaker foot because I think that's if you don't have an assistant who's very good. Um, and who can't offer you stuff like that? Adds just fail safe is um, weaker foot. Just put the strikers on the weaker foot, and maybe a midfielder if you you know if if you think something could be good. I mean, um, I am building this team as I've talked. I'm going to explain that in a minute. So I got there and impressed me. Probably will not do anything, but um, I will have to change. I'm going to change it back to 2D classic. Uh, just bear with me a minute whilst this. Uh, do, 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 do. Highlight mode, yeah, I don't know that. Yeah, okay. Uh, do, say, change that to 2D classic. There we go. And I will speed it up slightly. There we go. Oh, Wilson's through. It's broken for him again. It's that long ball. I'm going to speed it back up in a second again, and he's missed. There we go. Speed that one up. That should be quick enough. Um, okay, I think that's set now. <laughs> yep, there we go. Um, now, as I've talked about, you know, I am building this team. It's not perfect by any means. Um, we are missing quite a few, pl you know, so we are down quite, um, I, I guess, you know, we, we uh, it, it needs more players, basically, you know, I, it starts out with, like, a 14-man a, a squad, with essentially with just the crew, so I have obviously added <coughs> a few players in <coughs> since then, um, but overall, you know, it, it still needs a lot doing to it, in terms of finances, and obviously winning this would help, you know, um, and, you know, just general sort of just building the team i mean one thing i did have to do uh for this was give them just to give them something was i think the wage budget i had to just boost the wage budget maybe a little bit higher than most people would say mm, but okay for that's a bit too much for the blue square bet premier league but i didn't really care um you know everything else is zero <laughs> um but in terms of you know the, the wage budget i think is just a little bit as I, that's what i'm talking about in the editor i went to the editor Muddled around with it. Oh my goodness me! Anthony Wilson's had a few chances. He just can't. He can't score at the moment. Um, yeah, but you know, as, as I've talked about, um, you, you have to just build up the team. <laughs> Simple. That's all I can say. Because it, because it, it's it's all like my Southampton team. I'd rather be in a position where I have too many players, like in the Southampton team, uh, in compared to this where I have too little players. I Man, just saw that. I think. Um, Lavel was on at 90 condition or something at the start. Uh, you see, Rushton really is lacking in pace. Um, <laughs> happens when you're 32, I guess. Not to mention the fact that I can't imagine he is um, 
particularly like a football professional footballer particularly fit. I mean, I know Russian is he's not fat, is he? I wouldn't say Max Russian is fat. <laughs> uh, no, he's not. Of course, he's not. Um, but you know, uh, he's not like you know professional footballer fit, is he? Let's be honest. Not too many people are in as well. And uh, Hartley should get that. I think uh, this was a goalkeeper signed. Um, it was because the scout, or not the scouts, I haven't got any scouts. Um, I think it was one of the assistant managers just sort of said, okay, five star recommendation um, should be a definite purchase. So that's what I've done. And it uh, looks like we're going to go nil nil at the break. Not bad, but uh, encourage the team. So that does doesn't do anything. <laughs> They're all nervous. I'm just going to say to the midfield, look happy. I'll see what that does because that should stop them playing nervous. I know there's quite a few nervous players there. I don't understand how you can be nervous playing against FC Totten. I wouldn't be nervous playing against FC Totten, and I am a terrible footballer. The most I ever played football was for about ten minutes during a football camp where I met Steve McManaman about ten, fifteen, now about now yeah about ten years ago. So. <laughs> Let's be honest here, I've played at a high level on some of these players. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. Anyway, no disrespect to Tottenham, of course. But you can see the football is very... And this this is why I've really generally ignored the... Oh, dear me. This is why I've generally not done um, live commentaries, because the quality of football is just awful. I mean, I mean, you've just seen it here. I mean, how rubbish has this been? I mean, it's, I'm not. I'm not talking about like the, the episode. I mean, I'm just sort of talking about the quality of football. Um, as you can see, who was at fault? Yeah, he, Scott Lavell is a very good player. He is actually, actually, I'd recommend getting rid of him if I'm going to be honest. He's not very good. I'm trying to replace him, but I haven't got any. We haven't been able to find any left backs at the moment, so I think we're wearing a little bit thin on the uh, wage budget and the transfer budget. So, whoa, what was that? I think we might need to make a sub or two. I think because they are getting on top of us now. And that's going to be two. Oh, that was a nice finish, actually, in fairness. Uh, yeah, Kirtland is not doing very well. I think uh, it's time to bring Trev on. And also, uh, oh, Tubes. I thought Tubes might do well, but never mind. Uh, I think Tom, young Tom Hughes on. Uh, can Actually, I, think, I don't think anyone can play there, can they? No, they can't. Okay, hang on. Let me do that again. Um, let's take Tubes off. Not doing very well. Bring Tag Tago on. <laughs> I get Trev to attack as well. I might just go to overload actually because we've got nothing else. There might have to bring Rocket on in a bit because we're... it's very rare that we actually do two score two goals anyway. But you know, oh dear. Yeah, nothing's happening. <laughs> I mean, by the way, if you are thinking I'm taking this seriously, then you are an idiot. Um, it is, it's, I think it, it's in the name, Soccer AM. What is Soccer AM? It's a comedy show. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but I'm just observing this. They're not, it's, oh my God. That was a terrible effort as well from the Sutton player. I'm going to have to, yeah, I'm going to take him off because, actually, that's no point, is there? Actually, yeah, well, I'll put him on, I'll, Put Rocket up front and have three at the back. This is going to be very bold. Actually, let me just. I don't even know if I've got them playing in the right position. I'm going to say Rocket as a poacher because he's only small. And Rushton as a target man. I've not actually checked them yet, but I'm just going to go with. So I'm just going to try out a few things. <laughs> Probably going to concede a shitload now because only got three defenders, but you've got to go for it, haven't you? For all the unfit defenders as well. Whoa! Strange effort. They nearly, they nearly scored. Yeah, they really are not impressing me at the moment. Not the best. Yeah, this has not been the best performance. Rather rubbish. I thought this might be um, a good uh, good game to do a live commentary because I thought we might win, but no. Uh, <laughs> nothing. Very uh, Jekyll and Hyde, to be honest. They do some days they turn up, some days they don't, and this is the one where they don't turn up. Uh, very, very rubbish. Um, see, not even motivate. Look, oh, Jesus! Uh, as you can see, I've got a lot of a uh, lot of work to do with this team. A lot of work. 
Um, and I'm not going to lie, if you are going to say, oh, you're rubbish at this game, uh, one, I know I am, and two, uh, I'd like to see you do better, if I'm going to be honest, with uh, a team of amateurs, I must say. Um, and I know, but actually, there's the point, I love it when people say that, because I have no point have I ever said, yeah, I am good at this game. Um, yeah, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Uh, average attendance, I have a... I have a higher average attendance to my videos, that is insane. As you can see, the win ratio isn't great, but, you know, what can you do when you've got a shit team? Anyway, uh, it's a three-week break now. Wow. Uh, as you can see, again, because the breaks are a lot a lot longer, um, that's why I do bi-monthly, you know, because we'd only have three games in October. I know we'd have a lot more, and so we've got a lot more in, in November, that's why, because I'm aware of these breaks as well, because, and as I've just explained, anyway, that's going to be against Stain. so uh, join me for the next episode, where I'll be doing a recap of October and November, let's see the teams are going to be facing uh, throughout that month, we have Staines, Bromley, Havens, Havens and Waterlooville, who of course Liverpool played in the FA Cup a few years ago, Sutton United, Dorchester, and Maidenhead, um, and yeah, so unfortunately we couldn't get any further in the FA Cup, but what do you expect, with, as I say, with a team of amateurs? Um, anyway, I ho hope you uh, enjoyed this, give the video a like if you want, and uh, that'll be it from me. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.